What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about the next LEGO game. Now, I know today literally is the launch of LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. I like to look to the future. No, but I did a review for this game yesterday. I'm sure I'll do a couple more videos uh, on different aspects of this game as the days go on, but I want to talk about what could be next in terms of big uh, LEGO franchises. Now, we know LEGO is going to be doing more than just things with TT games, right? They've moved on. They're going to be doing like a LEGO soccer, uh, and these are going to be coming out from different publishers, different developers around the world, okay? It's no longer licensed to Traveler's Tales, right? But we know they are specifically making another game after this um, based off of job listings. Now, the uncertainty with the merging, you know, of WB Games, maybe something happens to these studios like Traveler's Tales, like Warner Bro, Montreal, like any of these, right? Something could happen, but I want to go over a couple franchises I think make sense. Some of them are new. Some of them have already happen would be kind of expansion so let me start with that one because there's really only one that I, I saw many many people say online and I also thought of myself uh, is Avengers okay now obviously we've moved past the time of Endgame and we're entering now this the new phase actually we're several years into it now uh, the new phase of Marvel but in terms of the games we only have Marvel's Avengers the time period really where Avengers and the MCU took off to a new stratosphere that I don't think will ever be matched even by themselves, you know, them competing against themselves, was obviously around the time of Civil War going into, well, obviously, all of the uh, individual solo films, but then going into Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame. So I really think if they're looking to do, a, you know, a gigantic, maybe even like a Lego Star Wars or Skywalker Saga, right? If they're looking to go through a huge, huge portfolio of projects, which you could argue would be for any of these suggestions I'm about to make, but in terms of one they've already done, which would be a lot like Lego Star Wars, right? They've already done it. Now you could do, you could even do that again. You could do some of the same ones that you did in that game again. Plus, again, uh, you know, Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame. And obviously you can have levels and stuff based off of the individual movies as well, like they kind of did a little bit in that game as well. So that would be option number one. Okay, I think that'd be a, a pretty huge idea. I think that would be something that makes a lot of sense that they could go down to. But my second one is actually almost a spinoff of that is Spider-Man. I saw a lot of people say this online, and I really do think now could very, very well be the time. Now, again, it depends on, you know, where these guys are, you know, as a development studio in a few years from now, where they are, I guess, right now, right kind of the backing they have. Could they do literally a, like a Sony Spider-Man thing, which what would that be? All of them. So you do all three Tobey Maguire, you do the two Andrew Garfield, and then you do the three Spider-Man movies we already have, or we, we do have with Tom Holland. I think that makes a ton of sense. I think that would be gigantic. Um, you also can think of it from like locations and, and even the Spider-Men themselves having almost different abilities and obviously all the different suits, all the villains that came in through all of them. I mean, it makes a lot of sense to do something like that. And I don't know, I didn't keep, track like I didn't have like a chart and write down everybody's suggestion but I saw a lot of people suggesting this and this was the first one that I thought of in terms of okay well this makes sense from in terms of like a franchise that's gigantic right does it really get bigger than Spider-Man uh, again if you're trying to go big in terms of how many movies you're adapting I mean that's a lot right that's eight of them right there if, if you do Spider-Man so that's uh I don't really know if there's another franchise you could do that would get you more than that I know I saw some people suggest like Lord of the Rings, Back to the Future. I mean, there's definitely ones, uh, and some of those are just trilogy. Some of them are a little bit more, but I don't really know if you can get a franchise that has, uh, you know, eight, nine, ten movies, right? Jurassic World, if you combine it with Jurassic Park, could get you there. But Spider-Man, I think, is one that makes a ton of sense. Maybe, I don't know if, like, you need Sony in that. I, mean, I actually don't know how the logistics of that play out, but and maybe that's something that you know, it could work because of that, or it won't happen because of it, right? I'm not actually sure, but I do think that would be quite the idea. The last one I thought of, and I did see some people suggest this, is uh, Ghostbusters. I think Ghostbusters actually makes a lot of sense um, to do it. There's obviously still an appetite for Ghostbusters with the newest movie. You even see Ilphonic making the Ghostbusters game, which comes out later this year. So there's clearly, now this is 
it's not like a niche thing. Like I think Ghostbusters is a, is a little bit bigger than just some like small little fan club. You know what I mean? But in terms of Avengers or Spider-Man, right? Or even you could argue like Lord of the Rings and stuff. Those are gigantic. I don't think Ghostbusters is that same tier, but it's not like, by the way, these guys have never made games that are smaller tier or more specific, right? We've had Pirates of the Caribbean, which is massive. But again, is Pirates as big as Spider-Man? Not necessarily, right? So we've had kind of more specific you know, titles uh, in in the past. So I really think Ghostbusters kind of fits with that, with the more Pirates ones or, or other ones that uh, Traveler's Tales has done in the past. I'd personally want Scream, but I know that's the longest shot humanly possible, and most likely you're not going to hit the target at the end of that range. So, uh, you know, I'll just kind of leave it there. But those would be my three franchises or my three picks. Again, one of them is kind of a repeat, but they also do have a history, right? They kind of do rotate. I mean, Star Wars is a familiar one, right? Uh, you have DC. Anything DC is another the one in Marvel, anything Marvel is also one. So they kind of like to rotate between those three and then throw in other ones here and there. Like I said, I think Ghostbusters would be the most kind of like wacky of the group, but it would still work. And then I think the other two, Spider-Man to me makes a lot of sense. And Avengers, if you wanted to finish what you basically start, I think that game released in 2016 was the first Marvel's Avengers, the Lego one. Um, so if you want to finish that, I think you could do that now. If you keep waiting... I, you know what I mean? Like, at this point, we're into Phase 4. Not everybody's even into these newer movies, and, and who knows where it goes over the next, like, two, three years. So I feel like if you're going to do it, well, in the next game probably won't come out for a couple more years anyway, right? So it's either this next game, you do it, or you just, I guess, skip right over it. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Make sure you're all subscribed to the channel. Hit the bell icon so you guys know when these videos go up. If you guys want to follow me anywhere else, all my social media is in the description below, along with our Patreon and YouTube. YouTube memberships. Thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you all on the next video.